is here with our forecast. And after that foggy thing we had yesterday, be some good news to have out this morning. It was yeah. really yeah. thick this morning. I mean, visibility was reduced. And, and if you just sat there and looked through your headlights, you could see a little bit mm -hmm. of that frozen fog. Oh, do we have frog? I didn't mm -hmm. see it. Yes. Frog. Frog. I love it. No, she said it yesterday, too. It was so Frozen cute. fog. Frozen frogs out there. But well, yeah, she is so. a member of the weather community now. <laughs> yes, so. I know. Yeah, she, <laughs> we in the weather like community believe it's wrong. called frog. So <laughs> most susceptible areas are bridges, overpasses, of course, uh, ramps and loops. So just make sure. Sunshine. Oh, I think everybody's going to be outside today. Yes. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Marina. Thanks, Marina. 702 now. Let's get to our top story. If you're shop, I don't well, know. Well, not, not that Mac Daddy not, there. That yeah. Not the Mac Daddy, but right. you see how much Mac Daddy costs. 24-5, yeah. yeah. That's well, literally well, a cabin on the water, uh, or on the ice. Yeah. Well, you're, you're around use if you didn't hear. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'd be a little bit nervous about putting that thing on a lake right now. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we're not there? quite there yet. <laughs> we have a clouds and radar here over the past four hours showing a lot of thick fog. We can see how it's almost hazy looking. That's fog. It's not really clouds. I saw the moon clearly through the fog this morning, but we do have a lot of thick fog, so visibility is reduced. And actually, if you see in your headlights, it's a little bit of that fine icy mist. Well, that's that freezing fog, and we have that advisory until 9 a.m., which includes all of the metro region and then the gray areas are dense fog advisories. So visibility is reduced. Slick spots, of course, most prone areas to see those slick spots are sl slick spots. Say that 10 times fast are going to be bridges, overpasses, as well as loops and ramps. So just be careful. But look at that. We can see it plain as day. Lots of fog out there right now. So you're going to want to make sure you leave yourself that extra time. It's 30 degrees with calm wind, so we're not dealing with a wind chill, but it is cooler out there and that cooler air really invaded past that cold front in the overnight tonight. But we're going to get a great southerly flow in here working for us today, and that's going to give us a sunny and 50 degree day as soon as we get past 9 10 o'clock this morning, which is going to be great. So we might see a light shower on Monday. Otherwise, not a bad week ahead. The bottom does eventually drop out, though, and I'll tell you when coming up in about nine minutes. Back to you guys. But, uh, we also welcome the sunshine, so it's kind yes. of a catch well, we know we're on too, borrowed morning. time. So. Yes, and our, our drought situation just continues, so we do need the precipitation at this point, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen, and our precipitation chances really for the entire week don't look great. Right now, you can see that there's just a layer of fog across the region, but I did see the moon through the fog when I was coming in this morning, so that's a good sign. It's not going to take a long time for the fog to burn off and the sunshine to return, but we do still have that freezing fog advisory until 9 a.m., so watch out for some slick spots out there. Temperatures really dropped when I left the station yesterday around midnight. It was 42 degrees, and so we have definitely seen that cool front move on through and bring us down to 30, and that's why we have a chance for that freezing fog to start to form on especially bridges, overpasses, ramps. You know the lowdown now where those slick spots are susceptible, so just be careful out there. Yesterday we topped out at 48. Yeah, it was a dismal gray day, but you know what? It was pretty warm, so that's good. Average for this time of year is about 32 degrees, and we're actually not going to get back to average for quite some time, which is good. So let's put our future cast in motion and we can see that uh, other than that fog by about 10 a.m. this morning, we clear things out very, very nicely. We've got plenty of sunshine throughout the day today. Then clouds will increase tonight into tomorrow. We might see a few showers as we head on into tomorrow morning in the midday and then by Monday afternoon, we should get the sunshine back in here and clouds strolling in on Tuesday for our northern counties. But what a day today. Mostly sunny 50 clouds will increase later on this evening. We'll be left with mostly cloudy skies by tonight with 43 degrees for our overnight low, so much warmer than this morning. And then tomorrow we're looking at mid 50s, windy and mild, a chance for a light shower to be out there. And uh, the best chance will be late morning into uh, about midday. And then we're going to be looking at uh, a cooler Tuesday, but still not horrible. 40 degrees, about 38 on Wednesday. And then we've got a stronger cold front that'll move through Wednesday night into Thursday. That might bring us a little bit of a wintry mix before our temperatures get much cooler by Friday and Saturday. So enjoy the 50s. It's a nice treat on this first weekend of December. We'll be right back. Marina Jurica, and it is foggy out there and visibility visibility is reduced. So we are going to continue to see that for the next about hour and a half or so before the sunshine helps burn that fog off and things are going to be a whole lot. The Fox 9 Morning News continues right now. Sunday morning. When's the sun coming out? It'll be soon here, but I was thinking while you were saying that sleep, what is sleep? I, I, ha I have no idea. <laughs> I wish I knew what that was, but clouds and radar here over the past four hours showing a very foggy start to your day today. So we are dealing with a little bit of freezing fog as I came in. 
I noticed that the ramp going onto the interstate on I-169 uh, was a little bit slick. So we are seeing some freezing fog in some points. Of course, susceptible areas are bridges, overpasses, ramps, loops. You know the drill. Just be a little bit careful out there for about another hour hour and a half and then the fog is going to lift and we're going to be looking at a really beautiful day but we still do have that freezing fog advisory until 9 a.m. that's that blue area the gray area down towards our southwest is for a dense fog advisory but you can see we're pretty much socked in right now and I did see the moon shining through the fog earlier when I was coming on in so that's a good sign that it's going to burn off quickly this morning and as it does burn off we're going to be looking at a much better rest of the day 30 degrees right now calm winds which is great so we're not having to deal with a wind chill so it's much cooler on the western portion of our viewing area opposed to the eastern portion. But we are going to be seeing a southerly flow and everyone is going to be warming up quite nicely as we head on into the day today. So 50 degrees, mostly sunny, very mild and pleasant as we head on into tonight. We're looking at 43 degrees and as we move on into our Monday, 55 winds are really going to pick up on Monday and Tuesday. We could see gusts of up to 30 miles per hour and maybe a sprinkle in our forecast tomorrow, but then we're going to cool it down just a tad for the rest of the week. I'll give you that seven day coming up in about nine minutes. Nah. I know it's coming. It's just going to take a little bit of time, probably the next hour and a half to two hours. We're all, yeah, we're already going to start to see some improvements, but here are clouds and radar showing that we are still socked in out there and uh, we are still dealing with some freezing fog and that freezing fog advisory is until 9 a.m. So just be careful because there are a couple slick spots out there. I encountered them, especially on uh, the interstate ramps and uh, bridges and overpasses, you know, the susceptible area. Areas. But it's 30 degrees right now, 31 in St. Cloud, 28 in Alec and Marshall, but 38 in Eau Claire. So a little warmer in our Wisconsin counties. But yesterday afternoon it was, I know it was gray and it was dismal, but it was 48. So that's really great compared to uh, average high, which is supposed to be 32 degrees. So taking a look right now at what's happening, area low pressure really brought a lot of moisture to portions of the upper Great Lakes, but we didn't have to deal with a lot of that. We just saw a few sprinkles. So low pressure starting to build now out towards our west as that occurs, we're going to start to see those clouds increase back into the region by tonight, and we might see a shower or two tomorrow with that cold front moving through on Monday morning. But for the day today, mostly sunny by mid to late morning, mild and pleasant with a high of 50 43 tonight as clouds increase. We'll start out mostly cloudy tomorrow. We'll get partly cloudy by the afternoon. We might squeeze out a light shower late morning, midday 55 though for our high. And even once that cold front moves through 40, so that's not horrible. I know it's a 15 degree drop, but that's still not bad. 38 on Wednesday, and then we've got a stronger cold front that's going to move through Wednesday night into Thursday. Might bring us a little bit of a wintry mix. We'll keep a close eye on that, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of moisture with that system, which is a good thing. And then we're going to really cool things down. 20s for highs, teens for lows. It is the first week of December. We'll be right back, folks. That's got to be like extremely heavy yeah, to wear. Be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a final check on the forecast now. Free sunshine will return. Be careful. It's a little slick. You've seen it hours. <laughs> the girl's warm anyway. Oh! <laughs> okay. I think we were out. Before, I think we were out before that comment. I hope we were out before that comment. Cast with Miss Marina. It's still a little foggy out there. It is, but it's getting better. It's definitely improved in the last hour. Uh, Facebook friend Thomas says it's burning off down south in the southern part of the state, so right. you're seeing the sun. That's right. It's a coming, but we are still dealing with that fog, so make sure you drive carefully. We still do have that freezing fog advisory until 9 a.m. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Happy I, birthday, I'm little John. I'm happy that uh, the sunshine will be returning. Well, 50? And 50 degrees. Wow. Which means we can keep the dog outside because he will eat the cake. You can send the guests outside. <laughs> keep your house clean. Time, time, to go. <laughs> time to go. Thanks, Brina. Thanks, Brina. Come up on 902. Let's get to our top story on the sun. <laughs> Santa. I'm Nova. seeing Elf, this, the musical this week, so I can't, it, I can't it, wait. Was it, oh, you're going to see it this I'm week. I'm going to see oh. it this week. I'm going on Wednesday night. Ooh. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it is next weekend. Awesome. Yeah, mm. I'm very excited. But Santa, so is winter coming? Um, no, not this weekend, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> 50 degrees and sunny eventually today, but we are looking at our clouds and radar here over the past four hours, and you can see that we're still pretty socked in. We're starting to see the sunshine work its magic, but it's going to take a little bit of time. And we do have that freezing fog advisory, which does include the majority of the metro, but you can see that north and east of the metro, it has been let go, but we do have that until noon now. That has been extended from 9 a.m. to noon. So watch out, especially on bridges, overpasses, ramps, as well as loops. You know where those trigger areas are for that uh, slick 
darkness to like to pile up. But look at this. We're looking outside right now and it is still pretty foggy, so we're going to get rid of it and the sunshine is working hard for us, but it's going to take a little bit of time. Look at that humidity is at 100%. We have so much moisture out there right now with calm winds and temperatures below freezing and those clearing skies. It was just a perfect setup for that fog to form in the overnight last night. But 31 in St. Cloud, 28 in Alec, 32 in Marshall, 30 in Owatonna, 37 in Eau Claire. So our Wisconsin counties, western counties are a lot warmer, and that's why you don't have the issue of freezing fog. You're just dealing with some fog. But getting you set up for the next hour, I'm going to talk to you about this lovely December that we are having so far. We are not dealing with too much of uh, the white stuff, that's for sure. Sunshine and 50s returning for both today and tomorrow. A light shower potential tomorrow and then we're going to be looking at a pretty decent unseasonably warm bless you Karen week ahead but then Friday and Saturday it's going to start to feel a little bit more like December and I'll give you those details coming up this mm -hmm. thanks Marie. well I was just uh, admiring that church snow scene by is absolutely beautiful and uh, yes I would like to see a white Christmas myself getting into the spirit but uh no chance for snow, at least this weekend. We're warming things up into the 50s, both today and tomorrow, believe it or not. But we have a little bit of a rough start. Taking a look at our clouds and radar over the past 12 hours, we did see a brief period of clearing. So because of the clearing, the calm winds, the abundant moisture in the air, we saw fog form and form very thick across the entire region. And we do have that freezing fog advisory now extended until noon. So watch out. I've had a lot of you emailing me on Facebook. Thank you very much, uh, letting me know that a lot of the bridges and over overpasses, especially off 494, 35, 94, as well, especially in the northwest metro area, has uh, seen some slick spots out there. So you know the susceptible areas, just be careful. 30 degrees currently in the metro. We're a little bit warmer out towards the east, and that's why you folks aren't under that advisory anymore. But yesterday we topped out at 48. Average for this time of year is 32. And as we put our future cast in motion, we are seeing a dry rest of the day today and tonight. But clouds will increase. We've got a cold front moving through tomorrow, probably in the midday, and that'll allow for clouds to increase and maybe a shower or two to start to stroll on in. And then we'll see that system clear, and we'll be looking at a pretty decent and still unseasonably warm rest of the week. It's really not until Friday that we start to get the much colder temperatures in here. So 50 degrees today, mostly sunny, mild and pleasant, but we're going to have to wait for the fog to burn off, and that probably won't happen until late morning to about midday. 43 degrees as we head on into the overnight tonight, very mild, but clouds will be increasing and then windy and mild tomorrow slight chance for a light shower with a high of about 55 degrees then we're a little cooler into the midweek but still not bad and then wednesday night into thursday we might see a little bit of a wintry mix that system is going to bring much cooler air into the region well now it's time for our wake up and meteorologist marina jerica happy sunday to you we are starting at a very foggy note all across the region and we have some slick spots out there so please be now so stay with us for the last half hour used to it and it's not that big a deal. I just the scales are really they're hard mm -hmm. and then they, they almost like can feel like us like they're splintering you when oh, they're sure. on your yeah. fingers. I mean, yes. And so then yeah, they wiggle I mean, and flip and flop. Well, no, and they're dead by then. Well, yes, OK, well, you're, I'm about, talking you're about to pre eat it. <laughs> pre scale. <laughs> they're, they're still squiggling. But that's not a good Go thing. Go with a guide and they'll take care of you. You'll never have a better time. I don't mind holding the pole and pulling the fish out of the yeah, water. But they'll, they'll get you where the fish are. They'll take care of all that stuff. You'll have a great time. Yeah, my dad goes up to Alaska every year. He See? likes it, too. Jack so. is my guide. My seven year old is my guide. He he takes care of me. There we go. Clouds and radar over the past four hours. If we keep temperatures up like this, we're not going to be ice fishing anytime soon. But hey, not complaining. We're going to be warming up to 50 today, but we got to get through a morning that's a bit tough. We've got some fog out there. It's thick. Our freezing fog advisory has been extended in the metro region until noon, but you can see the northern and the eastern area has been knocked off of that advisory, and that's basically because you folks are above freezing now. Watch out. We are seeing some slick spots out there, especially in bridges, overpasses, as well as on those ramps. But Looking down from our antenna, the fog is very thick out there this morning and visibility is reduced, but the sunshine is going to slowly start to work its magic. And as it does so, we will see that fog burn off and things are going to be looking good. 32 degrees right now. Winds are relatively calm, so we haven't been dealing with much of a wind chill factor all morning, which is great. And you can see these temperatures are starting to get warmer, especially coming on up from the south. 36 in Owatonna, 37 in Marshall. So we're starting to get those temperatures moving on up in the right direction. And we are going to see, yes, December on the calendar, but not really December weather, that's for sure. Sunshine and 50s returning for both today and tomorrow. We do have a very slight light shower chance on Monday, but we don't have a bad week ahead, which is good news. But as we head on into Friday and Saturday, things are going to feel a little bit more like December 
has arrived. I'll give you those details in about nine minutes. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Marina. Oh, to Miss Marina. Get your shopping done yet, Marina? I'm all done. Yeah, I did it all on Black Friday in one foul swoop. I just have gift cards left to buy for a couple people, so that's easy peasy. 50 degrees today, mostly sunny skies, mild and pleasant. It's going to be a beautiful day once we get through this morning. This morning, we've got dense fog advisories as well as freezing fog advisories in the metro. We're really going to want to watch for some slick spots. We're sitting at about 32 degrees right now, so we're still seeing a bit of that freezing fog. Please be careful out there, folks. I know that people have been Facebooking me with a couple of slick spots, especially along uh, I-94 in the northwest metro and heading on uh, 35 as well. So just be careful. Merry mild tonight. Clouds are increasing 43 degrees as we head on into tomorrow. Might see a light shower, otherwise windy and mild mid 50s and the winds are really going to start to kick up gusts of up to 30 both tomorrow and on Tuesday. Tuesday. And we are going to get cooler once that frontal system passes through, but not horribly. 40 degrees, 38, 42 then on Thursday. And we've got another system moving in Wednesday night into Thursday. That's going to really bring wintertime chill back to the region. That's uh, pretty much where we're supposed to be for this time of year. And we might even see a little bit of a wintry mix, maybe even some freezing rain on Thursday. So we'll keep a close eye on that system for sure. Well, now it's time for our wake up and win and some off losses last week. Game is today at noon here on Fox 9. Mm -hmm. Then a special post game show. Uh, Jim Rich will be here. Don Mitchell is at Lambeau Field. She'll be talking with players and coaches, hopefully about a win. Yeah, but she you know, was having fun last night. She was, yeah. It looked really fun. Out it there. did look fun. Yeah. yeah, it was already packed last night. Mm -hmm. It had Santa there at Lambeau. It was cool. Mm -hmm. It was cool. And we are going to be looking at there. Enjoy it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That is really good. All it right. That's good. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We'll have, see you next week. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next Saturday morning at 7 o'clock.